Hi everyone, welcome back to Latinx channel. We are learning about whether it is good for you to start a business as a business name or you have to register your business as a company. That is what we are discussing today, the importance of it, what are some of the things you should look out for if you are going to register a company, the requirements, the things you should have and what you should not have. And then what are the benefits involved in registering whether a sole proprietorship or a company. Now, let's start with the sole proprietorship. In Ghana, you can start a sole proprietorship wherever, from your home, um, at the porch, wherever it is. Now, if you start the sole proprietorship in your name, if you start the sole proprietorship in your full name, let's say Ernestina or Bubuche, it means that you are using your own name to conduct business. You don't have to register. But then if you are using a name which is not your full name, your full government name or full official name, then the law says that you have to register with the register of companies. You are registering as one-man business, sole proprietorship, even if it's a family business. A registering as a one-man business means the profits are for one person or for one particular group. One person controls this. One person's name is behind the business. There is no other person. That's sole proprietorship. Now, if you want to register your business name, you just go online, register of companies. They have a form from A, you fill it, just your details, um, where you are conducting the business, the type of business you are conducting, and all of that. You submit it to the register of companies after filling it online. And then you are good to go. You submit it hard copy. They'll give you a few days. You pay some required amount of money, and then you are good to go. They can register it for you within a particular time. Now, when you register this business name, I think within one year, you are supposed to renew the registration. When you are going there, you have to go with several names because it's possible that somebody has taken your name. And so if you go with Latina Ventures and you go and somebody has registered it already, you have to provide different names so that they will know that oh, this business is for you alone. No other person is, is conducting business as Latina Ventures. Now, for sole proprietorship, we all know profit is yours, liabilities are yours, everything. So you don't have to share any profit with anybody. Now, when we come to the company, I'm going to talk about company limited now, not any other type of company. So please take note. The same way, company, you have to um, go and pick a form at the register of companies. However, it's not just that. You have to show that you have a secretary, a company secretary. You have two directors at least. You have shareholder, at least one shareholder. You have an auditor. You have to show where your head office is, the address for your head office, and what have you. When you register a company, this is what it means. It means that the business is separate from the, the person who registered it. The company limited means that when the company is in debt, it is the company's asset that will be sold to pay the debt. We will not use, maybe if I am the one who, who created the company, if I'm a shareholder, they will not come and sell my assets to go and pay for the company's loans. So, now, the profit that is made by, by the company is not also for one person. It is shared by the shareholders only after a meeting has been conducted and it has been agreed that let's share profits. So if there are two shareholders, they will share the profits in accordance with their shareholding. So if they all have 50%, 50% shareholders, then they will share the profit 50%, 50%. Now, before they share this profit, there should be an annual general meeting. The director will, has to be there. The auditors have to be there. The secretary will have to be there. They have to agree that, you know, this year we had a profit of 1,000. We are sharing between our shareholders for 50, 50%. Or we are going to... Um, to reinvest in the business and then we are going to make more profits before we share so there are special requirements on registration of companies although your assets and all are covered it is not just a straightforward thing if you are a director of a company there are some responsibilities on you that if you do not perform them very well you can even be prosecuted because you have to you have to conduct your business so well that will comply with the rules of the um, of the company. Now, if you are going to register a company as well, you need what we call a company regulation or company constitution. Now, if you don't have a company constitution, the Companies Act of 2019, Act 992, has made standard constitution for you that you are going to use this particular kind of constitution. In 
the conduct of your business. You just you just don't do things anyhow. No, you have to make sure that you comply with the company regulations or company constitution. Now, apart from these things that I've already talked about, after the company has been set up, there are some annual filings that you have to file with the register of companies. There are some your statement of accounts should be prepared every year. Auditors will have to come and review your accounts every year. If you don't do these things and you don't update your records at the register of companies, and the register of company realizes that you are not complying with these regulations or these rules, they can strike out your company from the register of companies. So it's not just about registering companies, no. If you register a company, there are special rules to it. Now, are there some businesses that by all means you have to register as a company? Yes. If you want to start a banking business in Ghana, it has to be a company. Insurance, there are lots of businesses that if you want to start in Ghana, it has to be by a company. Please speak to a lawyer. Let the lawyer know that, okay, I'm, I want to start this kind of business. Am I supposed to start with a company by all means or I can start with a sole proprietorship and later convert it to a company? Ask those questions. Ask questions as to what are some of the requirements that you need to fulfill before you can register a company. Because if you don't put all these steps in place and you just go ahead and register a company, you may be doing yourself because it takes a lot to run a company. It is a lot of employees, secretaries, you have to pay them, directors, you have to pay them, shareholders, you have to agree on so many things with shareholders before you can register a company. For a company limited, um, the company is like a person. It can buy properties in its, in its name. It can sue in its name. So if somebody wants to sue the company, they will not come and sue the director. They will not come and sue the person who registered the company. You'll just sue the company. And now the company can also sue people who owe them. Now when you want to go to a bank to take a loan and they know that, oh, this is a company, they will look at the company statement and see that, oh, this company has good financial statements and they have an auditor who audits them regularly. So it means you can trust the account. This is some of the benefits. Now you can also equally um you can also equally keep proper account for your for your sole proprietorship business or the the ventures or enterprise that you are registered in your name so that it can it can also be audited by whoever you want to audit. But for the company one, the bank knows that oh the law requires auditing. And so such things have been done and so they can trust that. Those are some of the benefits. For a company, when the person who created the company or the person who registered the company dies, the company can still live on. It will not die because there are shareholders who can continue. There are directors who can continue operating the business. And there are systems in place to make sure that the business lives on beyond the person who created or who registered the company. But then for sole proprietorship, the person runs a business by themselves, individual. They use their name. They register the business in their own name. So it is hard for the, that enterprise to live on after their death. And so if you want your company to live on after your death, then you are better off registering it as a company, allowing the company to stay as an independent person with systems and structures to operate outside of you. That is also an advantage of registering a company. Now, if you have a business which um, requires a lot of liabilities, let's say you have a business that it's a risky business, right? That's what I mean. If it's a risky business, then you want to make sure that the risks are contained in the company so that when the business runs at a loss, the business goes into a risky venture and because of that, there is a loss. The people or your debtors or your credit, your creditors will not come and attack your personal property. That is one benefit of registering the company. They only attack the assets of the company. If the company has cars, they will sell the cars of the company. They will not come and sell your car, which you bought in your own name or you bought with your own money or maybe your husband or your boyfriend bought for you or your girlfriend bought for you. So that's one advantage of registering a company. The company owns its own liabilities and owns its own profits. So let's take notes of that.
how are the shareholders paid? The shareholders are paid in accordance with the shares that they hold in the company. So if you do not have shares in the company, you will not get dividends or you will not get profits from the business. And so everybody who is creating a company should make sure that they have some shares in the company. And the people that they are bringing in as shareholders are people who are contributing some money in kind or some, some money or something in kind, assets, supports the company. I'll end here. If there are questions, please let me know what your questions are and I'll answer them accordingly. Until we meet again, please take good care of yourself and speak to a lawyer before you register a company. You'll do yourself some good. Thank you and have a good time. Bye.